Now let's take a look at a legal problem called move zeros. So given an array of uh, integer nums, write a function to move all the zeros to the end while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So in this case, we have a uh, integer array and we want to move all the zeros to the back while maintaining the order of the array. So in this case, uh, we still have one comes before three, three comes before 12, but we're just moving all the zeros to the back. And the space complexity in this case, we want to keep it in constant. So to, to do this in a constant space complexity, what we can do is we can use two pointers. And the idea is this, we're going to have one pointer, which is the left pointer, points to the, uh, the, the, the left pointer, right? The, the, the first element in the array. And the right pointer is going to point to the, the second element in the array. Then what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can be able to find an element that, um, so the right pointer is there to find, to explore a non-zero element. And the left pointer is there to find a zero element, right? So we're trying to get the left pointer anchored down to a zero element so that we can get the right pointer, go out uh, on the right side, explore a non-zero element so that we can be able to swap those, their position, right? So zero, one, in this case, we're gonna swap them. Now we have zero here and one's here, right? So now we're gonna move both of them one to the right. And then we're gonna talk, uh, think about, uh, we're getting the left pointer anchored down to a zero element. Now we're going to move the right pointer one to the right to explore a non-zero element. Now we have three. So we have swap three with zero. And then we're going to move both of them one to the right. So now we have the left pointer is anchored down to a zero. And then we're going to focus on uh, getting the right pointer to try to find a non-zero element. So now we have 12. So 12 is a non-zero element. We're going to swap them. And then we're going to shift both of them to the right. So now you can see we're out of bound, and then at the end we're going to return, uh, or I should say in this case we're return void, so we're not returning anything. So at the end we're basically solving this using two pointers. So so let's say we have another example where we have the elements that are already in at the back of the zeros uh, at the uh, at the end of the array. So we can do the same. We can apply the same way, right? So our job is to get the left pointer in the correct position. So if the left pointer does not equal zero, we wanna make sure we keep moving them to the, a zero position, to a zero element. Then we're gonna get the right pointer, try to explore a non-zero element. In this case, this is a, this uh, this example is already good. So we can, our job is done, right? So now let's think about how we can do this in code. So first we're gonna define our base case. So in this case, it doesn't really say if the, the array it does, uh, is empty or anything. So we want to make sure we uh, the, the array is not empty. So then we're going to focus on defining the, the pointers. So define pointers. And then we're going to move zeros to the back. Okay. So now let's define our base case. So we're going to have integer n, which is equal to nums.length. So if n is less than two, we can just return, right? So if in this case, if there's only one element in the array, or if there's zero element in the array, we can just return, our job is done. So once we have our base case defined, we're going to define our pointers. So now we have our left, which is equal to zero, our right, which is equal to one, because we know that we have the space, right? Because now n, right, is going to be bigger than or equal to two. So in this case, we once we define our pointers, we're going to think about how we can be able to move the zeros to the back. So while right is less than n, we're going to focus on those cases, the those conditions that we talked about. So in this case, if we first have to get the left pointer, that's very important, the anchor pointer, move to our correct position. So in this case, we have integer, uh, sorry, in this case, if we if nums at left, right, does not equal to zero, that we have to get nums at left in the correct position. So in this case, we're gonna move left and right, both one to the right. Otherwise, if we have a situation where nums at right, right, does not equal to, uh, in this case, does not equal to, or I should say equal to zero, right? If it's equal to zero, then we have to get right pointer, move one to the right to explore, to find elements that does not equal to zero. So once those conditions pass, so in this case, if we have a situation where nums at left is equal to zero and nums at right does not equal to zero, so we can now swap them, right? So to swap an a, a, uh, elements in the array, 
and have a temp variable that stores um, the value. Then we have nums right is equal to nums that left and nums that left, which is now equal to temp. Now we're not going to move them forward because in this case, we're after we swap them, we're going to for the next iteration, it will focus on deciding whether either of those conditions met, right? So in this case, nums that left does not equal zero, then we move both of them to the right. So in this case, we're going to continue to do that until we get to a point where we have the entire array, right? And all the zeros at the back. So now if we were to run the code, okay, so now let's try to submit. So here you can see, this is how we solve this problem in a linear time complexity.